definition may surprise you, as it will many of my friends. I was born a teetotaler. All my life, I have been a teetotaler on principle. Neither my father nor his father ever tasted a drop of intoxicating liquor, nor have I. With my father, I for years supported the Anti-Saloon League in both its state and national work. When the 18th Amendment was passed, I earnestly hoped, with a host of advocates of temperance, that it would be generally supported by public opinion, that this has not been the result, but rather that drinking generally has increased, that the speakeasy has replaced the saloon, not only unit for unit, but probably twofold, if not threefold, that a vast army of lawbreakers has been recruited financed on a colossal scale, that many of our best citizens peaked at what they regarded as an infringement of their private rights, have openly and unabashed disregarded the 18th Amendment, that as an inevitable result, respect for all law has been greatly lessened, that crime has increased to an unprecedented degree, I have slowly and reluctantly come to believe. I am not unmindful of the great blessing which the abolition of the saloon has been to our country, or of certain other benefits that have resulted from the adoption of the 18th Amendment. It is my profound conviction, however, that these benefits, important and far-reaching as they are, are more than outweighed by the evils that have developed and flourished since its adoption, evils which, unless promptly checked, are likely to lead to conditions unspeakably worse than those which prevailed before. My hope is that the tremendous effort put forth in behalf of the 18th Amendment by millions of earnest, consecrated people will be continued in effective support of practical measures for the promotion of genuine temperance. To that cause, my own efforts will ever be devoted. Mr. Rockefeller is mistaken. The repeal of the 18th Amendment will not eliminate the evils inherent in the beverage alcohol traffic. Repeal means return to conditions of failure and corruption so prevalent in the United States prior to 1920. Repeal means legal restoration and respectability for liquor, now an outlaw and a criminal. Repeal means a legal liquor traffic, which will mean more liquor consumed, more drunkards produced, more poverty endured, more corruption suffered, more men debauched, more women degraded, and more children robbed in future America. Repeal means surrender to the criminal and corrupt who now defy and break the law. The high road to national greatness and enduring prosperity does not run through the brewery, the distillery, and the saloon. Observance and enforcement not repeal must be America's program for the future. <laughs>